Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for my Monday shave, I start work again on Wednesday. I've had three days off so far, I've got two more to go. And I'm going to be using a silk, which when I saw the label, I felt I needed to get. Now, it's quite expensive, it's quite hard to get, and it's shipping from Canada, but very, very kindly, it was sent over just as a massive, massive box of gifts and goodies from Sean Mullen over at Mal Grooming. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, mate, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure it's Mal. Tallow and steel, Maya. Now, organic ingredients, pasture raised tallow, 100% essential oils. I love that, I think that's great. And it's one thing I've noticed with pretty much every Canadian artisan out there, whether it be Sean making his aftershaves or soap makers, they tend to stick to essential oils, Elvado. It's, it's all organic produce, a pre premium produce, they don't use anything that's sort of cheaper or anything like that. I'm not saying that's worse or better, I'm just saying that's just the way it is for them and I think that's great. So explore the ancient aroma of a lost civilization with a dark spicy scent made from the oils of fine ingredients favoured by the Mayans. Cocoa, coffee, tobacco, cardamom, allspice, lime and sour orange. Now you can see how dark this is off the tub. This has been used, oh, I've got a smell of it already. Now, I couldn't quite put my finger on this when I first smelled it, believe it or not. And now that I know, or now that someone's put my nose onto what this smells like, or what they think it smells like, it, it's a pretty much a dead ringer. It smells like cola, Coca-Cola. Now, it doesn't smell like club cola, which is quite a sweet, zesty zingy. It smells more like cola bottles. The sweet that you get, a little jelly with the fizzy stuff in it, fizzy cola bottles. This smells like cola out of a bottle of cola. It smells absolutely lovely. The brush for today is going to be the Mervyn Cadman 26mm. This one is a beautiful brush and it was re naughty by Reyes Restores over in the States. It did have a 24mm in there but by some sort of wonder, I don't know how he did it, he managed to fit a 26 in. It looks heaps better, it actually looks like it was built for the handle now and it's been perfectly done. There's no marks on the handle whatsoever even though it was removing a very modern glue and all that sort of stuff it wasn't like he was removing an old style knot from an old style brush but it did a cracking job so let's dip this in the water now i've heard a lot about talon steel i've heard it's a very easy to lather soap that offers great performance and slickness especially the residual slickness so let's just see now in terms of what it feels like there is a sort of a softer layer at the top of it and then it feels harder underneath so i'm not quite sure why that is but let's just get stuck in and see what happens. I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to this, really looking forward to it. I love these labels. I absolutely love them, I think they just look superb. I would, in fact, I would probably go as far to say that this, just this particular label in, in, in particular is probably my favorite label of any soap that's ever been made that I've used or seen. I prefer it over Fuji, Gothic, even Lather Bros. whose new labels look absolutely brilliant. Right. Oh, yes. Now there's obviously, there's a little bit of spice to it. You can smell the spice. But it's not overpowering. It, it, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether he was going for the scent of cola, to be honest, when he made this soap. Now in terms of ingredients, I didn't even have a look there. What we got? Stearic acid, water, organic glycerin, potassium hydroxide, tallow, pasture raised, 
essential oils, organic argan oil, organic pomegranate seed oil, organic macadamia nut oil, organic coconut oil, organic avocado oil, organic castor oil, bentonite clay, organic tamanu oil, vitamin E, silk, and it's handmade in Winnipeg in Canada. So a superb set of ingredients. As you heard, all organic, or written as organic. Now I will say one thing about organic produce now. Me and my wife, my wife and I, were once 100% on the paleo diet, on the paleo lifestyle. Whereby it was no no peat, no peanuts, no grains, no wheat, no dairy, no gluten, and no refined sugars, nothing like that. Any sugars we have was like maple syrup or anything like that, if we ever had it, which wasn't very often. Now, I will say one thing for organic produce, we used to eat organic fruit and veg, organic meat, or organic grass-fed beef, that sort of thing. Or, not organic, but gra you know what I mean, grass-fed, but all the, all the stuff that costs more, because it says organic on it, and it's apparently grown differently, and there's no chemical fertilisers or anything in it. So, that was what we, what we were eating. And I will be honest, it tasted nice than the stuff that isn't organic, but you pay through the nose for it. So all I'm doing here is just painting water in. I can't believe it's taken so long to use this soap. So, as you can see, it's pretty much opaque all over. Not everywhere, because there's little bits of white there and here and there, but you can see it's opaque, translucent. You can see through the silk. So, here we go. Let's see what towel and steel really does. Now, I've got two days growth. This scent is just absolutely, it's intoxicating. In terms of complexity for a shaving soap, it's definitely up there with sort of your barrister and man stuff. Your Fougere Gothiques, your Le Grand Chipre, Adagio, all these scents that Cakes are full of different sort of ingredients and scents, yet make a really nice thing to smell, surprisingly. You can see the peaks all over my face here with that. That is just an exceptional soap for lathering. So, scent wise, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love Gourmand scents. This to me smells very much, pretty much a carbon copy of a Coca Cola. The actual drink Coca-Cola, you can see there the brush is absolutely chock-a-block full of thick lather. It's creamy, it's dense, it's easy to lather, it's easy to load. No messing around with it and that scent is intoxicating. It's just absolutely beautiful, I love it, I absolutely love it. One of my favourite scents even though this is the first time I've lathered it up. I just hope I don't get a reaction to it. Right, the razor of choice for today is going back to a razor head which I haven't used for a very long time. Now this is the, the Yaki. I don't know what DLC is, who knows, but this is pretty much an Ebon Jagger head, 
that's on this. Now it's chrome plated, brass handle, cheap metal head. It feels cheap, the head, the head feels really cheap even compared to the double open comb. And I have noticed a couple of little bits on the handle, which I probably can't actually get, get you to see. You might be able to see them, they just go dark on a couple of the triangles. No. I can see them, there's two little spots on this handle that just look, look the, the plating's just fell off, it just hasn't held on very well. So here we go, I've got my vintage Persona Why is that not focusing? Come on! Persona made in Glasgow blade and uh, this is the fourth shave on this one blade but last shave was exceptional. This, I love this silk. I've not even shaved it yet, but no, this, it might be crap to shave with. Now the handle on this, the knurling, isn't the best. It's quite, I can slide my fingers over it, it doesn't grip onto your hand very well, if I'm honest. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue if you maintain the handle and keep it clean when you're using it. Now Martin Rowland that sent me these blades over, really nice guy. So I tell you what, it's shaving nice, that's, that's the main thing. There's no carve. In fact, it's not even as nice as the double open comb, if I'm honest, with this blade anyway. But it's nice, it's smooth. It's One thing I will say for it, it's definitely a little bit more efficient than the double open comb. Which is surprising because I would have thought when I first got the open comb, the double open comb, sorry. that it would have been a reasonably efficient shaver as in terms of aggressiveness but it's not, it's not even close to being an aggressive razor this one is on the medium side it's definitely round about that Edwin Jagger feel I can't, can't deny it, it feels like the Edwin Jagger in terms of that which it feels like that total shave of Edwin Jagger it's nice, it's comfortable but it's not as smooth as most razors that I, that I like anyway that I really enjoy the carb razor, the, even the Calypso R1, which is quite an efficient shaver, it's smoother for me than the R40, the, the R89, the Evan Jagger DE89, the Merca 34C, all those razors. But this one's nice, it's a, it's, it's a nice looking razor. I, I do actually like the style of the handle, it reminds me of looking at, I've never had a Wolfman, but it reminds me of the Wolfman handle. It's a lot of weight to it. The balance point again is pretty spot on. Just you're not pissing around trying to find the weight at the balance point. Oh yes. Shit, that's slick. That's really slick. Sometimes you use a soap. Do you know something even tastes nice? Which is good. Sometimes you use a soap as soon as you touch your face with the water, it's just that's that's as slick as it comes, folks, I've got to say. That is really, really slick. It's starting to become a, a top pick soap for me, just from this one use. It's creamy dense lather, it's easy to lather, it smells incredible, the labels are beautiful. Probably the best labels you'll get on a soap in my opinion. And that's saying something because Lather Bros at the moment have just released all the new labels and they look stunning. Barrister Man labels are lovely. I even like labels like Wickham, where they're really plain. I've just dipped the tips there, so it's a little bit dry. There we 
이상하게 see how much this is just exploding again. Just a couple of dips of water. No reaction, thankfully. That would have killed me if I'd got a reaction to the soap, I would have really been upset. <laughs> wow. I am extremely, extremely impressed. In fact, it's to see this as an old formula in terms of what's on the market at the moment, it's as good as anything on the market. It's definitely up there with your holy college barrister of man. Grooming department, face fat. Ariadne and Evans, APR, you name it, all the top brands, all the top soaps, all the top performing soaps, this is up there with them, easily, it's, it's easily in that company. Can't wait to crack a head shave out with this stuff. Now the other scent that Sean sent over from Tallow and Steel is the West Coast IPA. Now I'm only able to describe that scent as unique. <laughs> I'm not a big beer drinker. Apologies if that's offended anyone that drinks IPA if it's not a beer. An ale. It is an ale so. Yeah, by all accounts it does smell like a very hoppy ale. Like a dark, like a really dark sort of I don't know, I can't really describe it. It smells like beer. It really does smell like a beer. Whether or not it'll be my jam when I get it lathered up, but I do hear. Wow. Really slick. I know I grabbed a big lump of soap there off my face as well, but. I don't think they make it anymore. But we'll give it a go and see how it is. My good buddy Ken Lee over in the States. Has already got his name written on it if I don't like it. chuffed with it. I'm, I'm really, I'm actually excited by it. I've had a lot of things exciting this week in this, this hobby. One of those crazy things was Yaki products. The Yaki Silver Tip Raja is one of the best natural hair brushes I've used. Dense, it's soft tipped, it's got great backbone. And personally, from a visual point of view, it's one of the nicest looking knots that I've seen.
Well, I've got to see. This Edwin Jagger DE89 or Mueller R89 Gronda head is performing really well. That's a really nice shave. Now, don't get me wrong, it's the same as I had previously with the Yaki. I'm using a blade which, in my opinion, is I don't I've not tried all the vintage blades, but those vintage blades are exceptional. This one is definitely my top two blade. It's right up there with the spoiler, the Gillette, the Australian Super Stainless as well. So they're my top three blades really. Sadly, you'll probably not be able to get hold of them for much longer. Absolutely beautiful. So that for me so far is a complete irritation free shave. Not irritation free but extremely minimal irritation. This is a, technically it's a 2017 soap, I believe. But I'm pretty certain that this soap sits as my 2018 soap of the year so far. So that's a hell of a statement. And we're only in July, but that is an absolutely beautiful soap. The scent's incredible. Right, I'm just going to, do you know what? I'm going to pop a splash on now. Let's see what the post shave feels like just from the soap. Well, I can tell you right now that is one hell of a close shave. It's, it just feels great. It really does. It feels exceptional. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised Sean sent this over. I can only imagine that he's got four or five of these tubs in the house because why the hell wouldn't you? And I'll be honest with you, I'm contemplating trying to grab another set myself. So, yeah, I'm oh, just incredible. I absolutely love it. Love it. Right, so get to finish off now. This is even just as exciting or more exciting than the soap with the Talon Steel Maya aftershave. Same scent profile. It smells similar at the bottle, but it actually smells more cola sort of scent. Just gonna give it a real good shake now. The ingredients listed in this in this aftershave is almost on a par or if not on a par with mal grooming. You've got organic witch hazel, organic aloe vera, water, essential oils, organic glycerin, organic kiaya, kiaya extract, organic rose hydrosol, organic calendula hydrosol, alcohol, organic willow bark extract, organic cucumber extract, organic licorice root extract, organic rosemary extract, radish root ferment filtrate, lactobacillus, coconut fruit extract. Holy shit. So this is literally skinned food. It's just, it's just incredible. Now the scent, oh, it's polarizing. Oh, that cola scent, it just smells like cola, coca -Cola. I, It's funny how much I enjoy the smell of cola now, now that I don't drink it whatsoever. I haven't had a drink of cola in probably three and a half, four years. It's not, it's not past my lips. Um, so I'm, oh, I just can't wait, so. I'm just going to go with three splashes, so there's not much on there, similar to what I use for mild grooming because I know how much shit's in here, it'll be too oily if I throw too much of this stuff on my face.
Yeah, there's no menthol in here, is there? That's the only thing I would say that is missing from this menthol. Now, I'm getting a burn from it. I don't know whether it's a reaction burn or whether it's a burn burn, I've got no idea. It's not an intense burn, it's not like a, a reaction burn that I get normally from a splash that would be like, oh shit, I can't use this. But it's there, it's noticeable. In fact, it's starting to fade away now already. But I've got no real redness or anything. Yeah, I think that was actually just a, 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 the part of the experience with the splash. I don't think it was a, a reaction to anything in the splash, but we'll see. I'll let it sit there for a minute while I'm rinsing the brush out and talking about everything else. Yeah, that's splat. The, the, the burn is completely gone now, totally gone. I think it was just all the, the wood chisel and everything else that's in there. Excuse me. Talon Steel Maya, probably my favourite label on any soap that I've ever seen. I absolutely love it. The labels are centralised, even the one that runs around the side runs perfectly right around the side. I can't even grumble, I can't even have a go with the labels on this soap. I'm not sure what's, oh, it's got the barcode on the bottom. It smells incredible. It smells like Coca Cola with a slight sort of spice through it, like an all spice sort of scent through it. It's really, really nice. I just can't. The scent is spot on for me. Gourmand. Coca-Cola, five to six out of the tub and five to six when lathered up in terms of scent strength. It's absolutely superb. The cabin brush never lets me down now. I absolutely love this brush. I love the handle, it's comfortably old. 26mm black and white Magard synthetic. It's not as nice as a tuxedo knot, but it's a nice, nice knot. The Yaki Edwin Jagger style head on their sort of, I don't know, it's a brass handle, similar to Wolfman's sort of handles, I think, in terms of look. The grip on it's pretty average, but it shaves really well. I've got a fucking superb shave. I can't grumble with it, I really can't. They're, they're really worth the money, and, and they're really cheap. I think these are about 16 bucks, 17 bucks for that razor. The double open comb's 20, I think. Oh, you just can't beat that value, you can't. And as much as I won't personally purchase any of them, because of the way the, the company advertises, they've been very kind to send me these products and I'm going to be sending them out to people less fortunate than myself at some point when the when the time comes along and hopefully make someone's day and give someone an enjoyable shave from it. Finished off, in fact I just want to show that as well because these blades just are amazing. The Persona made in Glasgow blades and then we've got the Talon Steel Aftershave Maya which for me that's completely absorbed. I put three tiny droplets in my hand. My skin feels incredible. It feels super silky smooth and moisturised. There's no burn, no irritation now whatsoever. I think that was just a nice warm burn that you get from the splash itself. So, blown away. It's definitely top two soap. In terms of overall package of how it looks, the ingredients and everything, I would probably say it's a top one soap. That's in, it's my numero uno. Very, very, very impressed. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys for the next shave. Cheers.